going to be another one. It's going to be another one, man. Let's get ready. Woo! So, look, check it out one time. We're going to keep it all the way live. If you don't know, now you know. Man, the streets is fired the fuck up in L.A. right now, man. Like, it's serious. It's it always be going on. It always be cracking. It's always murder, mayhem, blase, blase. But right now, the shit is fucked. Niggas and ran. Only only idea I got is like niggas and ran out of their PPP loans, EDD, and nine times out of ten, it's probably a bunch of young niggas because older niggas know. All right, this is going on now. We got to go back to work. We got to go back hustling. We got to go back. You know what I'm saying? Trying to figure out how to start this business we was trying to start or blah, blah, blah. Grown issues, right? The young niggas, they don't want to work. They don't want to do shit. So nine times out of 10, a lot of this shit is probably, you know, young niggas just, you know, not ready to go to school, college or whatever the case may be. And they out there want that quick, fast money they've been getting what they used to. And that shit ain't cracking no more. So they ready to set it off. That's why the murder rate is retarded right now. It's like, I'm getting phone calls constantly, like motherfuckers getting killed all around. Like, you know, if you know a lot of people like myself, it's like, damn, this person got killed. That person got killed. This, they robbing over here. They robbing over there. It's like, God damn. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's, it's real wild, man. I just told the homie this shit the other day. I'm like, this shit like the purge. And then I seen some shit on the news where the motherfucking detectives say this shit. I'm like, damn, that's how I know I'm on point. So I'm going to play this little clip one time, you know what I'm saying? And let y'all figure out what the fuck really going on. Let, let's just hear Let's just hear a little something. Well, yeah, first we have to look, how, how did we get here? You know, the ACLU advocated for Proposition 47, which changed the sentencing guidelines. So right now, you can literally go out, do whatever you want, commit crimes, and you'll be out <laughs> faster than the officers can finish the report. And that's a fact. Um, you know, we're wondering, how many times does somebody have to be arrested here in L.A. before they stay in jail? Um, it's it sad. Okay. Look, that's the issue right there. Now, I'm a nigga that been to jail before. I don't wish in jail on nobody. But at the same motherfucking token, this, you just heard what he said. That's the reason why. They give a nigga slap on the wrist. And I know for a fact because one of the homies hit me up. He like, hey man, it's like a group of niggas that robbed some shit and, you know, they all got out of jail. And I told motherfuckers, so they said it ain't a violent crime. I told motherfuckers, I said, because it's a setup. They're going to let you niggas out of jail. Not saying the homie, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's speculations of allegedly other people, you know. These niggas that got out of jail, it's not a violent crime, but they letting you out, but you're not free. Y'all out, but y'all still got this pending case. So niggas going to get out, keep robbing, add more cases, violate probations and paroles and whatnots, build more of a case, and then boom, they gonna jump down on niggas. Now you got like five years off the top. Well, you might have had a year, six months, county lid, all this. But now you got a grip of time off the back. Some niggas gonna be getting hit with tens because niggas not paying attention to what they doing. So it's a reason why they doing this type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, they not finna just let motherfuckers out of jail. When do they do that? You feel me? It's always a method to the madness, what I always tell motherfuckers. You got to be smart enough to understand what they really doing. Yeah, they let niggas out. Unless you got a violent crime, if you got a hot one or something, they keeping you. But the prisons is overcrowded. The county jails is overcrowded, blah, blah, blah. That's why a lot of people getting out. But then they, they doing the recycle. What they do, they let a lot of niggas out, but then they take a lot of niggas in. So it's a revolving door. I'm cool on that shit. Y'all niggas better get y'all motherfucking job. Go y'all ass to school. Do something start a business that's the problem niggas don't want to do nothing like but check this out though epic crime everywhere and in fact los angeles is like um like the movie purge but instead of 24 hours to commit your crime they have 365 days to go out and commit their crimes and that's how it is right now in los angeles and in san francisco boom it's like the movie Purge. If they seeing shit like this on the motherfucking internet, on the motherfucking news, what do you think is really going on? Think, y'all. All you young niggas out there, man. Y'all need to pay attention, man. 
Y'all got a slap on the wrist. Y'all got out. Chill, because y'all your case ain't over. You feel me? I niggas gonna keep hitting licks. They gonna fuck around and have 10 licks on niggas. And y'all niggas gonna have a million charges. <sighs> y'all better get ready. Y'all better lace them boots. Y'all better be eating your push in your Wheaties and doing your push-ups and you know what I'm saying? Drink your black coffee, cause that's all they gonna give you in the county jail to stay up. Yeah. Y'all niggas better drink some black coffee, get used to the program. Holla at you, you be your big homies or whoever the fuck, your brothers, uncles that have been to jail, so you can be a little bit, you know, ready mentally. Cause it's a mental thing and a physical thing when you've been there. You feel me? Cause you could be big as a motherfucker and soft, you know? Or you could be smart and little. You kind of got to balance out. You need to have some mental for show and some size on you. Any of you ain't got size, just strong. You feel me? It's got to be a strong soldier in that motherfucker. So y'all little niggas get ready, man, because y'all, it's a lot of youngsters I'm seeing just running through shit. And that's cool. They getting their money, but at the same token, they doing it in a hellified way where it's like it's going to backfire on them. It's, it's only, and, I, and a lot of that got to do with the murders and the shit is fired the fuck up, man. So... Like I always tell niggas, man, this is the saying I always say. I say, pray for L.A. You feel me? It is what it is, man. I hope everybody out there have a blessed day. Stay humble. Stay positive. Stay positive. <laughs> stay positive. Get your money, man. Protect yourself. Protect your family, man. Stay out of jail. Stay out of trouble. You know what I'm saying? Elevate. Money motivate. And most definitely, most definitely be at peace with yourself, man. That's all I got for y'all today, man. Have a good one. And you know you got to like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. Share. With further ado, everybody, peace.